One CNC has the powerful ability to create toolpath geometry. What is toolpath geometry? Well, let me demonstrate how easy it is to create and how you can benefit from using it. So first of all, you can see we have a real simple shape here. All I want to do is take a three quarter inch diameter end mill and just rough out this area right here with just a lacing pattern. Now, of course, you could use a pocket operation or a profile operation to do this, but I want to show you a different way of accomplishing this. All right, so what I want to demonstrate to you is something called auto ruled path. Now, auto ruled path is going to create toolpath geometry from two open boundaries. In this case, my boundaries are simple, just one line here and another line right here. Now, to get to this, head over to the main toolbar, select shapes, and then you want to select auto ruled path. Number of divisions is simply how much do you want to break up or divide each one of your open boundaries. I'm going to say four. So once we click here, each one of these lines are going to be divided up into four. We'll click OK. All we have to do now is select both boundaries. We can start at any boundary we want. I'm going to start here, left click, grab the arrow, right click, left click, grab the arrow, right click. Once we're done, one CNC creates the toolpath geometry. All I have to do is just rotate, zoom in or zoom out, and you can see that one CNC has replaced the original open boundary geometry with toolpath geometry. Now we can machine this. Head over to the main toolbar, select your stock toolpath, and what you want to select is cut chain 3D. I'm going to start right here. We're going to left click, going to choose my direction left click there, going to hit the F3 key to select the rest of the geometry and then I'm just going to use the defaults here, 3 quarter inch diameter end mill, we'll click all the way through this and finish. That looks great. Now let's preview the toolpath, right hand mouse click, preview toolpath and here we go, here's our 3 quarter inch end mill and we're performing a nice lacing rough operation to clear out that material. All this was accomplished by using toolpath geometry and what we demonstrated was something called auto ruled path. Thank you so much for watching and I look forward to seeing you in the next tip of the day.